Hi everyone. Today we will learn how to convert this 3D into 2D views, front view, side view, top view, and we can do with the help of the viewports. And after that, we will do the dimensioning of this one. So let's start. So when we click here layout, you can see in the layout it look like this. And we will change to here. This one uh, hidden here. Click on layout and delete this view. Now type here viewports. Enter. And here you can select the number of views. Let's say I want four equal here. Okay. Now you have to select a screen inside the dotted line. I select like this. Now these four viewports are created here, and we will keep as it is. This is isometric, and this one we change to. A top view. This one we change to front view, and this one we change to side view. You have to always. Click outside so that you will not in the view. So you can see here our four views are created here, but hidden lines is not showing here. So we have to bring back hidden lines in the view. You have to select a view here, and now it is it is highlighted here. Type vs obscure edges and make this a one. You can see that this hidden line is showing now. This is the hidden line, which we have a cut here under this one, and this is the top view. If you will see from the top, and we will see these hidden lines here. Now click this one here. Again type vs, then make it one. Actually, it is not required hidden. And here we have to add because we have to see the bottom hidden line here in front of here. Type vs. Make it one. You can see now this hidden line is showing here in the side view. In these groups you can see. Now, if you click here, and it will increase and decrease, so we have to lock the view here. To lock the view, we have to type MB, enter, and then type lock, type on, and you have to select this one, enter. Now this is lock. You cannot zoom. You know, if you click here, it will not go anywhere. If this is not lock, it can go anywhere when we click on zoom. So same way, you have to always click outside to come out from the view. And again, type MB, type lock, lock on. And select this one. Now this is lock now. Same be here. M B. Lock. On we select this one. In this way, we lock all of your views. Now you click anywhere; it will not go anywhere. So.
so now we have to do a dimensioning of this one here so we have to click on annotate and we will measure this linear dimension here and we will do the dimension setting here type D and click on modify here and here we will change the color of the arrows green and this one maybe blue text color I will choose red here this is alignment dimension this is above here you have to click here scale dimension to the layout here primary union I will make it one and it should be period okay and close now you have to do the dimensioning very carefully I click here linear dimension I select this one it's showing 70 here but if you click here inside and now you will do the dimensioning that dimensioning will show in all three views here for example click here you can see it's showing here so you should always you know click outside you should not be selected any anything now you can do the dimensioning individually In this way you can do dimension in views Six here. We will do this one. This one done here. This is six mm. Now this view. In this way, you can do the dimensioning in viewports. Now our 3D view is converted into a front view. This is the top view, this is the front view and this is the side view. And you, you can write here or you can insert your own template here. And then we can print for printing. Continue. And we will choose print here you can give print or you can give window here I will select this one send it to plot in this way you can plot in PDF so this is the output in this way you can convert convert 3D model to 2D with the front view, side view, top view.